WIBX News Time is 634. Your news is brought to you by the Frigo Agency in New Hartford, your local independent insurance agency, helping you protect all the things you love. Go to UticaRomeInsurance.com. Bernie Sanders, the upset winner of Tuesday's Michigan Democratic presidential primary. The Vermont Senator edged Hillary Clinton, who ran up an overwhelming victory in Mississippi. Republican frontrunner Donald Trump scored wins in Michigan, Mississippi, and Hawaii. Texas Senator Ted Cruz won Idaho's GOP primary. The man known as the fifth Beatle dead, Beatles producer George Martin, died at the age of 90. Ringo Starr confirmed the news on Twitter, writing, Thank you for all of your love and kindness, George Martin signed the Beatles to a record deal in 1962 and went on to produce most of their records. The new attorney for the convicted killer made famous by the Netflix show Making a Murderer Says New Evidence gives Stephen Avery an airtight alibi. Attorney Kathleen Zellner says cell phone tower records showed Avery stayed at his property in northern Wisconsin after photographer Teresa Halbach left. While Avery has always insisted Halbach was alive the last time he saw her, he was convicted of killing her in 2005 and sentenced to life in prison. The hit Netflix series has raised questions about the case against Avery, and I feel all so of the studio's eyes though, upon this, me. This is this is showing because she I saw an interview with her recently where she said, oh, we have the smoking gun. Mm-hmm. We have new evidence that is going to give him a new trial and new evidence that's going to free Stephen Avery. Could you imagine if... They can prove by beyond any and, and they really only have they're supposed to only supposed to create a doubt mm-hmm. to prove not guilty. But that certainly didn't work in Wisconsin. But could you imagine if they find him to be not guilty? That would mean the whole setup scenario is real, has to be real. Or there's somebody else that committed the crime on the property. Right. I mean, and where is that amazing. person? Where is that killer? The alleged killer now? <clears throat> Do we have Stephen Avery? He's here now. Uh, Stephen, Stephen, thanks for calling in. I appreciate it. Good morning. Of course. Good morning. I've been listening. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I hear hear you talking about my my, my get-out-of-jail-free card. Calling from prison (laughs) (laughs) right now. It seems like the cell phone records, Stephen Avery, uh, are, are giving us some new insight here. Yeah, well, you know, my uh, I, I love uh, everything about the phone. You know, I've been talking to people on it. You're on it and, right uh, now. You're on I'm on it right now. You're on a phone right now. And, uh, you know, it's going to be what's ultimately going to get the second record straight. And, and uh, who do you think, who do you think uh, that, that, that if, if if they find you, and of course you're saying you did not do this, but if they right, find, I did not do it. I know that, yeah. But if they find you to be not guilty and an innocent man and once again set free for a second unprecedented time, it's incredible. Uh, who do you think did it? Well, I, I can't tell you who did it because, you know, she left the house yeah. right after she took the pictures of the van. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. You know, maybe it, maybe it was the cops. You think it could have been the uh, the, the sheriff's department? Yeah, yeah it could have been them. They, yeah. I mean, they were the ones that had the axe to grind. Yeah, they had it, and they didn't like you. They really did not like you. And I'm yeah. going to follow my family's advice this time. I'm going to move away. Yeah, you're I was going to ask you that. You're going to move away. Yeah, how could yeah you... I might move to Utica, New York. Oh, oh, I, that could be breaking news here today. I hear there's a new nano chip uh, plant going on there. <laughs> there yeah, is, yeah. That's, Eventually, uh, yeah. Stephen, that's. Uh, I think uh, those I think aren't like barbecue chips. That comes around, <laughs> I think by the time that comes around, I'll get convicted of something else again. <laughs> you might. You might. I mean, I would. Uh, I would become. I don't know. I think I'd go live in the hills somewhere. I, I would uh, live far, far away. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to be close to Manitowoc County. Yeah, what's for uh, what's for breakfast and uh, lunch for you today? What are you what are you eating there in the prison? Well, you know, usually they give the French toast on Wednesdays. They do. They do French. <laughs> <laughs> they do French toast. Andrew, in you jail. are yeah. amazing. That's um, unbelievable. I didn't on realize Wednesdays. That. Yeah. <laughs> So the Wednesdays. French toast, and uh, you know they give you skim milk. Skim milk to keep you here. ready. You're trimming down. I notice you're losing a little bit of weight in there. Well, you yeah. know, I got to. You know, I've been I I've been much more focused on reading my books than yeah. eating anything really. Okay, that's it. Well, listen, Stephen, <laughs> thanks for the update. I'm so glad that we you know I'm eating nothing but I'm eating all the knowledge from the law book. You're eating the and that doesn't have a lot of calories in it. No, that but you, they, they, you can tell you can eat buffet there at the library. <laughs> Gotta watch Small the library. trans fat, though. <laughs> All right, Stephen Avery, thanks so much. Thank you. All right, I'll, I'll keep you guys notified. It's amazing how the minute Christine begins talking about Stephen Avery, he calls in. That's just I'm so flattered unbelievable. that he listens uh, to our news. An amazing forecast coming up. This is real, by the way, this forecast. And it is warming up, folks. going to be quite a day.
Right. Are we going to Rachel Witter? I don't know what you want to do. Should Stephen do the newscast? No, please. (laughs) He's eating his French toast. Morning clouds giving way to... In prison. Because that's what they serve on Wednesdays. that's right. Morning clouds giving way to afternoon sunshine in the high. 67 with a low of 48 right now, holding steady at 3680 in the studio. Yes. uh, Filet on focaccia is uh, for lunch. (laughs) (laughs) It's... uh, (laughs) It's 640 at WMIBX.